Okay, Stalkers, welcome back to part four. Uh, just as a review, um, in part three we covered reshade and the install of the mod configuration menu. And also the sun gloss and tone map settings. So today we're going to get bass installed. And the global texture rework. And hidings, grass, and twee, uh, trees uh, with the choice of spring, summer, autumn, or winter, depending on what you fancy. Okay, let's get to it. So, back to good old mod DB. We'll do a search for boomsticks, and that should bring it up. Scroll down a bit. Oh, there it is. Boomsticks and sharp sticks. So you want to click on that. Download and put it somewhere safe. Okay. So I've already got that downloaded. That will be in my stalker files. I'll find it. There it is. So we've got two folders here, the main folder and the patch. We'll click on that. Now initially all we want is the game data folder. Uh, you have modded execs, but because we've uh, already installed the uh, demonized modded execs, we shouldn't actually need those. So copy the game data folder to your main game folder there. I've already done this to test, so I'm just overwriting. So Sometimes bass can cause problems. Okay, so that's installed. Go back and apply the patch. Select all the files. Copy and paste again. Okay, let's run the game and see if we've got some new weapons. Now this 63 error, as I call it, always comes up after I've installed Bass. I don't know what it is. It comes up randomly. But if you just launch the game again, normally it loads. Sometimes I've had it where it comes up two or three times before the game actually loads in. I can't figure out what it is. If someone in the comments knows what it is, uh, they can post something and help me out a little bit. Okay, so let's load up our game. Okay, we're back in game. So you want to bring up your debug menu, which is F7 by default. Now get, click to the top, which is item spawner, and that will list all the different items in the games, and weapons and ammo and everything which you can spawn at will. And just to check to see if we've got the new guns. Yep, that's a bass gun. The DS armor, it's a beautiful gun. So we'll bring that up. Okay, so that's Bass installed. Okay, next up we're going to uh, download the Global Texture Rework. So just type that in uh, ModDB again, do a search. There it is at the top. So we download that. Let's 
Got in my stalker file somewhere down there. GTR, GTR. There it is. So again, with this texture mod, it's just a drag and drop game data folder. Copy paste, should I say. So put that in your main folder. Okay, so that's installed, good to go. So let's run the game again. Now because it's a texture mod, uh, you can delete the shader cache again. Okay, let's load up the game, see what it looks like. The Adega Textures uh, pack is really, really good as well. Uh, I see a lot of uh, different modders using that. But I do like GTR. Changes the wood, changes the brick effects, different textures. Looks really, really smart. So you can go into your debug, change the time of day again and the weather. Get a good look at it. So yeah, it's looking good. All right, next up, uh, we're going to install Iodin's Grass and Trees. So we do a search for Iodin. There we go, Grass Tweaks 4. We download that. Let's find it. There we go. Okay, so you've got a choice here. Uh, you've got four different presets. You've got the autumn, which is nice. You've got the spring, which is really green. You've got the summer, which is also pretty nice, a little bit more brown. And the winter, it sort of like makes everything dead. But I like a bit of colour, so... I'm going to go for the spring. So you've got the main spring file and then you've got the trees. So we need to install those two folders in your main game data folder. Now copy. Paste. And the trees. Okay, let's launch the game and check out your new foliage. Again, it's a texture mod, so delete the shader cache. Load up the game. Okay, so there's your spring grass and trees. You change the weather, put it on clear. See, I like the items textures because they just make the trees a bit more fuller and the grass a bit more thicker. And if you up the grass density, it looks really, really nice. It's not apocalyptic, I know, but it's a look that I can go with. Okay, so next up, what we're going to do, we're going to install my reshade. So if you go to my YouTube page and go to the Community tab, and I've listed it in the uh, Community page there. 
So click on that on the Dropbox link. And you'll see the Lone Wolf Custom Reshade Inny. Press download. And you see I've got it there. And what we're going to do, we're going to put that any file. And that needs to go into your bin folder. I mean, you've got your standard reshape preset there. So if we just drag and drop that into the bin folder, you've got all your reshades in here. And then we're going to load up the game. Let's just change the weathers from the debug menu, which is F7. Okay. Right, so you need to open up your reshade menu, which again is the console button, uh, sorry, button, um, uh, home button here. And click on the top and select the Lone Wolf reshade. And select. Voila! Now you've got Lone Wolf's custom reshader going on. What do you think? So I've got various bloom effects. Uh, this is on top of the Atmos R reshade, the standard one, which is used in Gamma and a few other mods, I think. But I've tweaked it. Uh, next, what we want to do, we want to adjust the display depth shader. So if you type in display, click on the depth shader. Now you see on the right, it's completely black, which well, shouldn't be. We should have a picture there, grayed out, displaying the depth of your graphics. So if you click on pre-processor definitions, scroll down to the third one, and change the 1 to 0. And that should correctly display the graphics depth. Or the shader depth. And give it a while. Okay. So now that's being displayed correctly. So we need to type in display again and uncheck that box. Okay. And there you go. Graphically, we're pretty much all set up now. There's not a lot more else we can do. Um, obviously, in your main game settings, then uh, maybe you want to tweak the grass. You know, um, we'll go over the glossiness and the specular settings as well at some point. We we'll get a couple of other mods installed as well for part five, and that'll be the end of this tutorial. As you can see, it looks really, really nice in different weathers. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.